Yo, what's up? My name is Retro Pat, and welcome back to episode 118, I believe, of my Dungeon Defender series. If this is your first time joining me, welcome, what's up? And I assume it's most people's not first time joining, welcome back. It's amazing if you've watched all of these episodes, and it's an honor to have you all. And I'm back here in my tavern, just kidding, you guys thought. We're actually here on a map. We are on Tavern Defense. Now, I love this map. It's so ridiculous ridiculously flavorful with dungeon defenders it's the tavern that we all know and loved turned into an actual map that you have to defend via your towers and all the combinations and i'm super excited to finally be able to beat it i'm just on medium difficulty here today nothing crazy um i'm gonna see if i'm able to beat it. i've tried to beat this map like many many times honestly on easy difficulty and i haven't been able to do it it's been too difficult this map is actually really really hard in my opinion so i'm gonna run around first things first we have no timer since we're on medium difficulty which is really comfy i'm gonna go grab all the chests possible we are going to set up probably summoner archers and maybe an or some aura stacks if possible i'm hoping that the newfound power and brokenness of the mages lightning towers are honestly what's going to be able to carry us through here but let me grab all the chests this map is just so beautiful as well let me grab all the chests first to get maximum mana and then we'll come up with a game plan after we have all of our resources gathered all right so there are two crystals to defend uh in, in at the end of the day there's two crystals to defense we only like two aura stacks it should cost 140 mana to do each aura stack so that's gonna bring me down to like what six i can't do math 700 mana flat i think after setting up both aura stacks, the problem is where exactly do I want them at? I actually probably want it more forward. Yeah, just so it doesn't have the opportunity to overlap with the other crystal hilariously. So we're going to do an aura stack like this. Electric and snare and strength. That's going to be 140 mana and then 140 more. Yep, exactly. So 140 more will bring me down to 700 mana left total. I'll use the remaining mana to go ahead and probably set up some summoner archers. I think this is the best way to have a wave one defense. It's very possible that medium difficulty is also just too low or too easy for this. I love, okay, really, really cute touch. I love that they just put the defenders forward where it normally is in the tavern. Like, I don't know. Obviously, it's not, I don't know, anything amazing. I think it's very cool. Like that, it's such an easy thing to do. And it's like, it would have been literally more difficult for them to mess that up, if that makes sense. But it's still really cute to me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another aura stack right here. Electric and stare and snare strength. We're going to drop all of our mana. We're going to switch over to the summoner. I'm a huge fan of, uh, of learning a new map and on, on complicated maps, I call it building from out from inward to outward, which is basically just starting at the crystals and then just protecting like building outwards versus if you start from like the doorways, you end up kind of uh, in a sticky situation. So I'm going to go ahead and build, you know, what's it called? Out, uh, inward to outwards. I'm going to go ahead and put some archers here. We'll build a wall of archers right here. You guys don't need to see every little archer be built. I'll see you guys in a sec when I have this section or this crystal protected. All right, four archers on each side at this crystal is probably all I need for the time being. I'll worry about series EV boosters in a sec. I probably should place them now. It's probably more efficient to honestly place those as soon as possible because series EV tower boosters are that good. Like you probably should prioritize honestly placing them immediately on wave one. It's probably gonna give you more power than just having more units, but I don't know, whatever, man. I am not a peak turbo omega efficiency dungeon defenders gamer. I am a, hey, let's have fun and get strong enough and find our own strategies to actually beat the game and complete all the challenges that I want to do. I like discovering things on my own, and I feel like there's not that many games left nowadays. Uh, unless you, like, just really prevent yourself from browsing the internet it's pretty hard to not see or not just see you know not come across the most powerful strategies accidentally i actually want to sell this guy to move him back a little more to the left just to give me enough room to place another archer because it wasn't quite well positioned and i want to be able to obviously stack as many archers in a line as possible so here we go this should just be the setup for the first wave i probably do want to switch over to my monk i guess just to increase i don't even know i'll just you know what i'm gonna go ahead and press Control g and hope that this is fine we'll see how this plays out wave one 100 minions to take care of i do have flash heal if needed this should be a decent enough defense the minions are actually coming super slowly since we're on medium difficulty which is extra funny i haven't seen that in a really long time maybe 
hilariously, this map might have been beatable for me on Nightmare difficulty. I just didn't want to quite risk it, and it does get so significantly harder. I can go ahead and pick up some mana and place more archers as well, but it, it does get so significantly harder once you get into the, in the you know future waves. There's also goblin copters. Obviously, all these like whatever small goblins. Like I'm not scared of these, but. Things like the Goblin Copters coming in with these fat ogres. I don't know how much HP this guy's going to have. Things like these giant wyverns. Honestly, 1,500 HP. It's so minimal. Medium might have been too easy for this. But you know what? After all of the, like, three-hour, four-hour survival challenges recently, I'm okay with a quicker, more, like, relaxed video. You know what? Sue me, but I'm here for a little fun a little fun Saturday Dungeon Defenders fun. So let's go ahead and build some more archers over here. We'll get a series EV booster to boost all of these guys in this beautifully straight line over here in the, in the eventually. Um, I'm gonna keep building archers and I'll probably just see you guys. I guess the wave is gonna end here in a split second. Are these guys not in range of this goblin copter? This guy is shooting some missiles over here at my archers. Is he out of range? What is happening? Can I bait him, possibly, to get over to range? That would be... He is far. Is this shot being blocked by the tree? Is that what it is? Oof. Um, I'm also, like, not able to bait him effectively because... Ooh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That'll do it. I love the... Dude, the t amount of times... I have died way too many times to the goblin copters, like, spiraling out and crashing and then die to that splash damage. It's embarrassing, but it's happened a fair amount of times. The last minion is just an ogre stuck over here. Let's go bother him. Gra oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let's go grab his attention. He's on the bridge. He's trying to find his way across the bridge. You're supposed to stop people from crossing the bridge, not stop yourself from crossing the bridge. He's got his pilot's hat. He shoots his snot ball. Come on, dude. There you go. Come on, a little bit further. Get mad at me. You can get mad at me. That's okay. No, 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 no. What is he doing? Come on, buddy. Come on. Are you serious? Maybe I should have been on the monk. This guy is a pain in the butt. He's so stuck. What are you doing? I'll honestly at this point I might just let him. Well, I'm gonna let him, I'm gonna go build. I'll let him fiddle around until he dies. All right, there we go. That ogre finally passed out from exhaustion. I'm going ahead and over to this crystal and I'm setting up the rest of them. I'm also going to go ahead and like use the rest of my minion units. I don't really have much left, which is totally fine. Um, I'm at 108 out of 120 minion units, which once again is totally fine with me. I'm just going to go ahead and get some more, a few more placed. Uh, I think I can place one more archer. I'm not even, I'm not even worrying about any, um, spiders or, or mages to heal. I'm just setting up straight archers. I feel like this map will actually be a lot easier than I expect, but maybe I'm going to eat those words here in a split sec. So I'm at full mana. Let me go switch over to my dude, my series EV I have to do. And then I also want to set up obviously my mage. So maybe I do the mage first and set up some lightning things. I actually have a level up on the mage. I haven't taken advantage of yet. I probably go ahead and do base damage. I think I'm just going to press control and click that there we go base damage added so i found out very recently that the lightning towers are absolutely busted they are so ridiculously good um and i can't wait to abuse them a ton honestly i like that placement i probably can place the series ev thing up there i assume if not that's okay i have so many minion or so many tower defense units left i can't imagine a problem arising the fact that these are going to be able to reach outside of this area as well is just ridiculously bonkers i'm gonna place these all in a straight line place two there um i'm gonna just go place the rest of these i'm gonna go grab these chests as well i'll place the rest of these over at the other section and then i will go grab my series ev here in a split sec but there's no reason to i'm gonna switch to it there but there's no reason to do it quite yet i should pass around some upgrades i'm gonna have too much mana here as well if i was smart i would have left a little more room on the end uh, for these i kind of messed up there but that's okay I'll just try to have to make do. I could put this here, and I might be able to actually weave a Series EV booster on it. If not, we'll just figure it out, obviously. So, so I can do two on this section. I want to do two on this section if possible. I have so many defense units. I'm honestly not worried. I want to put one back here or more forward. I probably do want to put them in the back because the only possible chance of losing or whatever is if else we can have a Series EV booster kind of, kind of hits both little sections as well. Uh, can we get this? Right there is totally fine. 
Okay. I do kind of want more. I mean, I, I just, I'll do like one more or something just randomly here. Sure. Like, I, I don't know. It's totally fine. Like, it's whatever, right? Like they're, they're kind of, they kind of shoot in an AOE anyway. Now I should grab more mana, pop off more upgrades. I need to go grab the series EV. We have around what? 35, 34 defense units left. That will be plenty for series EV tower buff boosters. Let me grab all the chests or some of the chests here if possible though. All right, back inside the tavern, I'm going to go over to the Defender's Forge, uh, drop all my mana first very carefully, switch over to my Series V. I was thinking I might have a level up on the Series V. We're kind of semi-close to it, but not quite. I'm going to go ahead and place that there and then drag it all the way over here. If it costs six defense units, that's fine. It is super, super worth to pay that. That should connect to most all things. It even, I think it is even hitting this archer, actually. Attack damage, like 130. Oh, no. Actually, it's not quite hitting that guy. Interesting. He just has like the purple gem core in him. A hundred and is that nineteen? No, sorry, nineteen thousand attack damage. That's that's crazy. Versus thirteen k. That is so that is so wild. Anyways, I'm gonna move on. That costs six defense units, but it's ridiculously ridiculously well worth it. We're gonna do this one. This one's gonna cost six as well. If I can find a good placement for it right there, that'll do. Is that not gonna proc these guys? I think it should, right? Okay, it does. They're at nineteen k. It doesn't hit that one. That's okay. Or that one, weirdly. Interesting. Let's head back over to the next. There's one more chest, actually, I should pick up before heading back over to the other crystal. Once again, only two crystals to protect here. Uh, the, the fire and the map is so, so ridiculously pretty. We're going to grab this. We're going to bring our booster. Did I miss a crystal for a split second? Grab the, Oh, he, I'm full mana. That's why. Okay. Head back over here. Do a big buff beam uh, from like here to here. It's not going to be perfect, honestly. I'm going to keep that one actually five defense units. And we can kind of just scrappily place things around and get it kind of fixed up. Maybe like this. This is so weird. I didn't plan this properly, but it should be enough. I'm out of defense units. Oh, no. Okay. 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 It is super worth for me here to actually sell one of these lightning towers then. I think I sell that one. It is so ridiculously worth because then I can go ahead and do this and then drag this. Can't see because the okay, this should be good. I think that hits all these guys. Let's see, it does, and it also hits the lightning towers. Yeah, okay, that's worth it. Having that extra tower buff beam, well, well worth versus having one more lightning tower. Um, tower buff beams, once again, you guys know, ridiculously powerful, super stupidly strong required to pop off i'm going to buff the aura so they don't run out of charges because if they go down all the tower buff beams will go down but other than that i'm gonna start buffing all the tower buff beams buff 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 the buff beams and uh yeah i'll see you guys when i'm ready to start this next wave this is a pretty damn good defense pretty excited to see how this works all right there we go before even starting the wave i did go ahead and get out all the boys all the lads so we've got tons of xp and, and bonuses to get for everybody now i do want to quickly say this is probably the new crew like the series ev the monk the summoner and now switching out the squire for the adept is probably the new best way to go ahead and approach dungeon defenders so i'm gonna press Control g we're gonna jump into things I'm hoping to get enough mana to pump more upgrades here, but our building is done. We have 117 out of 120 defense units. I could spend three more and build like a small defense somewhere. I might do that. We'll see. Probably not though. And then I'm at max minion units. My, my goal, main goal here is to just run around, get mana, and then go ahead and pump that mana into upgrades. So I'll see you guys with anything interesting that happens. I almost fell off there. That would have been quite interesting. Uh, I'll see you guys if we're in, in fear of losing and if this map has anything super unique to show up. But I am just cranking through these mobs, it seems like, with the lightning tower. As you can see the number, I'm almost already done this wave. There's wave 8 out of 14 completed. We have a fair amount of waves to continue to get through. So I don't want to count my chickens too early before they hatch. We have a lot of, of difficulty gaps and a lot more stronger minions to have to take through before we actually defeat this map. I know from experience how difficult this map would be. I tried to beat it on easy difficulty multiple times. It just continuously failed. Mostly just taking two tower buff beam upgrades and aura upgrades once again. So if any of the auras go down from their HP being depleted, the, all of the tower buff beams in the area, all of them, which is like three at each location, will all go down. So that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty, uh, I mean, 
killing. Uh, it, would, it would kill my run. It would, like if, if your tower buff beams go down, your your will to live might as well go down. Okay, Dungeon Defender is uh, is a very you know it's a game built around your tower buff beams. The series EV probably the most powerful character in the entire game. I do know that um I think that the speed run for Dungeon Defender is wink wink. I've been aggressively looking into it. It is so interesting to me the idea of speed running Dungeon Defenders. Uh, I think that that run actually uses series EV. The world record run. I'm pretty sure the best strategy by far is to use the series use the series EV now one day i'll get around to attempting runs i think the runs do take around three hours a piece and that's if you're making good pace so once again one of those big time consuming things dungeon defenders is super time consuming and i'm okay with time consuming but i'm definitely at a part of my life where i'm getting a little older and it's nice to break up time consuming into one to two hour chunks maybe even 30 minute chunks here and there having to break it up into a three hour chunk you have to have three hours before you're able to do something like that that's a lot harder to manage. And there's the wave completed already. That was wild. Didn't expect to uh, defeat that so quickly. Wow, that actually blew me away. Let me go grab the rest of this mana. We're going to go ahead and three-star some of these tower buff beams. Why the hell not? Oh, I just <laughs> misclicked, but whatever. That's totally okay. There's the three-star I was talking about. Okay, with all of these three tower buff beams three-star, it's time to head back inside and upgrade some of those tower buff beams. These need quite a few upgrades. We're going to get this one up to one star and have not quite enough mana to get this one to three star. We can actually head outside, grab some ma leftover mana on the floor, especially up here. And we should be really close to getting it. We probably can get double three star, honestly, on both of these inside tower buff beams. So there's just, there's inside crystal and there's outside crystal. It's a great way to honestly describe this map and sort of uh, just define and verbalize what I'm doing at the moment. So let me come grab all this, grab all this mana. Let's head back to inside crystal. Here it is, there's one of our three stars, and then here is our, oh, not quite. I am nine mana off from being able to three star that, unfortunately. So I'm just going to jump into the wave, collect nine mana, and then get the final three star on the tower buff beam, which will allow me to go all, you know, ham out and kind of just start pumping upgrades on everything after I get this thing taken care of. And there's the nine mana that I needed. Some of the weapons being dropped on this map are also just so beautifully designed. There's wave 10 out of 14 defeated on the Tavern Defense map. We're going to go ahead and collect all of this. There's so much mana actually over here to collect, get some upgrades, and then slowly work away. I have a lot of upgrading to do before I move to the wave 11, but we'll be doing that in a quick sec. All right, I think enough upgrades have been pumped around. I'm going to control G, jump into wave 11 out of 14, and I'm kind of regretting not being on Nightmare difficulty, but you know what? The beauty of that is we can always go back. We can always go back. We can do this again on Nightmare, which is very, very cool. And I think we also just get an achievement for beating the map at all, like beating this map at all on any difficulty, even easy difficulty, I'm pretty sure earns you an achievement on Steam for defending your own tavern, which is very, very cool to me. And I mean, I think that really does flow into the beauty of Dungeon Defenders. You get to play a singular map so many, like one map gets to be played like three or four or five or even more times. And it's interesting and it's different every time. Like I may play this map for the first time on medium difficulty to get my bearings of it, to learn the geography of it, all those things. God damn, that is cool. Um, and, you know, I might play it again on Nightmare difficulty. And then, oh, I might play it again on Nightmare Hardcore or I might play it again on Nightmare Hardcore Survival or I might play it on Mix Mode or I might play it on, you know, Strategy Only Mode with, no you know, Towers Only like there's so many ways to play dungeon defenders and it's so cool to be able to experience these beautifully built maps over and over again and, and totally unique in different ways and there's wave 11 defeated i'm probably gonna go ahead and just control g and jump into the next wave for the sake of time like i could meticulously go around and do each and every upgrade but i'm not even getting mythical drops from these chests which is really showing me how underpowered i kind of or like overpowered i am i guess rather for this map so i'm sure to go and control g jump directly into things got to pump through time wise there's well 12 whoa whoa wove 12 wave 12 <laughs> completed once again i'm gonna press control g as soon as i collect this little mana because there's so much on the ground over here i might as well i'm gonna control g skip build phase entirely pump more upgrades and just state my way through the tavern defense and there's wave 13 defeated. We're jumping in the final wave here. I don't remember. There might actually be a boss fight here that I'm not remembering. Is that how I lost last time? Yes, there it is. Boss wave. Okay, okay. I remember a little more now. I feel like I remember myself losing here at the boss wave, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to jump into it. We're going to see if hopefully I should be able to take this guy out this time. I don't think I've defeated this map before. Now I'm kind of questioning. I know I played this map a ton. Did I lose? You guys probably have better memory than me on this. I think I lost this map last time on the boss wave. I don't think I was able to defeat it. I think that's what happened. If I remember, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm pretty sure I haven't beat this map before. That would be very, <laughs> be very funny if I've already. I'm pretty sure I haven't beat this map before. 
All right, the final ogre for that wave has been felled. The boss is approaching. And I do have plenty of different heroes. Like, if my series EV, for whatever reason, can't take out the boss, if it's some specific boss that needs to be killed in a specific way, I do have other... I've never seen this boss. Have I seen these guys? Now I don't remember. Mega Turkey, Mega Snowman, Mega Cupid. I don't know if I've ever seen these. I feel like this is new information. Oh my god, 50 whatever million HP on medium difficulty? I don't know if I had seen these ever before. Stalling him here so that my towers can actually go ahead and slowly take him down. My turkey is over here. Not my turkey, the turkey. Is he stuck? I don't know why. He's only got 2 million or so HP, much less than the snowman. The snowman, clearly the tank here with ridiculous ridiculous amounts of 50 million hp i'm gonna go pump upgrades here while i can why not get some increased dps on my archers and such i'm gonna go back and stall him to get him ticked down i can keep him on the bridge so he's in archer range look at all the dps being done to this guy that's insane the turkey seems stuck how is the ai breaking on the bosses come on what are you doing okay we're just messing with this guy big bad snowman frosty i'm sorry bro you're gonna get melted today we brought the microwave, the hand warmers, whatever you need to take him out. He's getting taken care of. You're not cold enough. I'm fighting you in June, dude. You should have came out in December when you had the advantage. Now you're fighting on away territory. You're fighting at a loss. You're not good enough. You're getting outskilled, outnumbered, outmanned, outgunned. See you later, Frosty. The magical hat will not revive you this time. Sorry to all the kids you made friends with. That's a bit creepy. You're blast. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Frosty. See you later, mate. There is the achievement. A pet's legendary defender's party hat. Wait, I got to go see that. That is, we got an emergency here, fellas. Okay, we got to check out this party hat. And there was also like a party blower. We got to check these guys out ASAP. Where are they in our boxes? They're probably lost in this absolute sea of weird things there's some upgrades possibly here that's a huge upgrade actually transcendent bow versus my mythical thing my mythical even has some upgrades on it you know what while we're here i'm trying to think of a reason why we shouldn't just switch this out let's go for it why not upgrade i could even switch to the other one and get upgrades why not upgrade my you know my series ev if we're going through our inventory anyway we might as well we can probably switch this one out for another upgrade here as well possibly that one has 200 damage though honestly my damage tick rate is quite high. Okay, I'm not going to worry about for the time being. Let's go ahead and find... Where's the party hat? Where's the party hat and the party... There we go. I see it. We got four of them, which is sick. You know what? Are these... Wait, are these accessories? Oh, these are actually going to be like sick accessories, aren't they? Oh, these are actually good. Wait, these are actually good. Why is this so little mana? 53 mana. That's hilarious. These are actually so good. Holy shit. These are strong accessories. That's really exciting. Let's go ahead and put some of these on our characters. You're telling me this isn't the most perfect thing you've ever seen? It even has an animation where he blows it. Santa Claus is partying. Dude, the hat on top of the hat. This is one of my favorite things I've ever seen in Dungeon Defenders. That's amazing, dude. Plus, you get really good stats from it. The hat on top of the hat plus the horn. I'm in love. These are my new favorite accessories. So I bet that if I do this map on Nightmare Difficulty, you probably get better variants of them, don't you? Dude, well, I know what I'm doing next episode. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I'm excited to see you next episode. We're definitely doing Nightmare Tavern Defense, okay? We probably can beat it. So like this video if you want to see that. Like this video if you enjoyed this video. Dislike if not. Subscribe to the channel for videos every other day at the moment. I would love to return back to the daily upload schedule now that I have moved IRL and I have my life a little more stable. I'm excited to get daily videos on this channel i just love playing dungeon defenders and tons of other games whatever i feel like i've been playing like magic the gathering for example recently whatever i enjoy i kind of just upload this is my passion project channel so thank you guys for watching this have a great day i'll see you guys later peace arena hey thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video that means the world to me but if you do find yourself wanting to go above and beyond and enjoy my content enough and you want to be one of the first names displayed at the end of my videos just like this then make sure to hit up the patreon link down in the description you don't have to but it is nice thanks for watching again have a great day